Well, Darren Peck is here with our weather now. It was a great fall day. It was. It was wonderful, and hopefully it'll last until Monday. Mostly. Mostly, okay. <laughs> yeah. It, tomorrow's going to be just like this, even a little better. Okay. Monday, things are going to start to change a little. We're not going to get rained on on Halloween, but on Monday, Halloween, you're going to notice the temperatures come down, the clouds increase, and the wind's going to pick up a little bit. Keep your plans. Whatever you're doing outdoors on Halloween, you'll be fine. But it, it won't be as picture perfect as today or tomorrow. Tomorrow, we start out a little warmer than we did today. We'll have mainly low to mid 40s for morning lows. We did a lot of mid 30s in the North Bay Valleys this morning. We shouldn't do that tomorrow. Daytime highs are a little higher. We'll be back up into the mid 70s for our warmer inland East Bay locations, upper 70s for Santa Rosa. We'll go to 72 in San Jose, and there'll be a lot of mid to upper 60s for the Bay. Here's Halloween. Those numbers are a little different than the ones we just looked at for tomorrow because they are a few degrees cooler. You may notice a few more clouds. It might get a little breezy because this is all in advance of the system coming on Tuesday, which would like to bring us rain. So this time of year, you can pretty much do a spread for the Bay Area, whether you're inland or in the Bay. The numbers start to get pretty convergent and very similar wherever you are, especially for this time of night. So this forecast works pretty well for the Bay Area as a whole. Plan on low 60s to upper 50s with about a 15 mile an hour breeze. Uh, for the trick-or-treaters or for anybody else who's going to be out later than that in a costume past 9 o'clock at night. Okay, there comes the system with rain. It looks so promising right there, but that's going to fall apart. We need to look at this in the bigger picture to see how something that looks so good there Tuesday morning does not look that way when it gets here by Tuesday night. There's your system. We'll put it into the lower resolution forecast models, which are going to pick up on that and advance that rain into northernmost California. But those showers kind of part as they come through. And you see a little bit of it goes to the Sierra, a little bit of it goes off the coast, and maybe nothing of it falls here in the Bay. It's possible. I've got rain in the forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday on a technicality. If you look at the accumulated totals here, we don't even see anything in the latest model ones that adds up. Doesn't mean we wouldn't maybe get something. We'll get a little bit of snow in the Sierra out of that. So travel Tuesday and Wednesday in the Sierra, maybe an inch or two, doesn't look like a blockbuster snowstorm, but enough to mess with travel. We'll get cooler, we'll be breezy. Morning lows are gonna stay on the cool side for the next seven days and probably the next four months because we've kind of entered that time now where the numbers start coming down in the morning. And, mm -hmm. uh, but we shouldn't have any frost advisories tomorrow. So yes. bundle up for Halloween, but I think it's gonna be a really nice night. Yeah.